Booyah! We're live. I'm trying to get things situated. What's up? Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Make sure got that turned down. Oh, my goodness. What a... Oh, okay. That might make sense. I'm trying to figure something out here. Okay, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't work. That's what happens when we do things. What's up, Anthony, Fernando, Luca, what's up? What's up, Bob? Oh, man. I need to glue something up real quick and then we'll uh, we'll do some other stuff. What's up, Dragon? Jetta, what's up? Jetta Howard. I need, I need a paintbrush. What's up, Chris? What's up, Star Creation? Mr. Imagination, what's up? Miguel, how you doing? Just chilling. And that's annoying me. There we go. It's better. Happy Tuesday to everyone. Um, what time's it? Come on, Anthony. Because like I said, I get up at I get up at three in the morning, and a lot of times I don't watch a lot of things that happen, you know, like say around, you know, eight, nine o'clock at night, because time I get done with this. But I always go back and rewatch. I always make a point to do that. But 3 a.m. comes early. I'm telling you right now, it comes hecka early. Hecka early. So, because you figure, I mean, by the time I get off work, I've already put in 14, almost almost a 15 hour day. So, yeah. So you figure like when I get done tonight, let's say I go to eight o'clock, I'll be in bed by nine and then back up at three. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting world, <laughs> but hey, but I get up that early cause I've got like an hour commute to work and I got an hour commute back from work. So two hours of my days in a car, that's fun. Uh, Robin, uh, yes, I have. I dig it, dude. You got some crazy mad skills. Crazy mad skills. Just saying, man. But yeah, those, um, portals look great. They're like insane. Da, da, da. I've been wanting to get this this one piece glued up all day, so multitasking. What's up, Harold? Yeah, do it, Star Star Creations. Make one. Worst thing happens, it don't come out the way you want it to. That's the worst thing. But then you then you learn something and you start over. That's the way you do it. Just saying. What's up, Caleb? Not a red. Seven eighty nine. Dioramas are fun. I mean, legitimately fun. Because a good example. Um, I've seen. What I do with them. So I've seen, I've seen these 
from another post. Oh, they're right here. Duh. <laughs> and somebody was telling me you can get them at Dollar General Store, these little slime bucket barrels. And they look like little 55-gallon drums. So they're like a buck. So I went and picked up some of these. And I'm going to paint them, make barrels. And they come with these really interesting little space dudes that glow in the dark. Hernando Roadway, what's up? That, that was the man, uh, heavy Mandalorian Hot Wheel and a plethora of minis. Nice. Yeah, that, that Duke, Duke, uh, Duke does look good. He really does. He legit. He's legit. So yeah, I, uh, I've started getting in this bad habit when I'm working with this glue. As I always say, I'm gonna put gloves on and I always forget it till I uh, paint my finger with this glue for the first time. Then I go, oh, hey, gloves. No, I always forget it. I forget it. Uh, I tell you, I mean, honestly, um, you got a couple, I mean, there's a couple of options. Uh, the pink foam that you get from, uh, Home Depot. That's what I use, uh, for a lot of the dioramas that I build. Uh, it's very cool to carve on. Uh, it's dense. It glues together good. Um, it's like, uh, I think it's, I think it's around six bucks a sheet, which, uh, I'll show you what it's called. It's called But, uh, yeah, right there. But it's, uh, it's, it's good dense and it carves. It, as far as carving goes, I mean, that's what I made my, uh, my wall with. And, uh, I've done a lot of dioramas using that. So it's really good stuff. Yeah, I saw the uh, I saw tidbits of the uh, yak face. I was watching uh, Rocco did a little live stream, and he was talking about some of the new stuff. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's uh, it's a never ending thing with new stuff, which is great. I do, the thing that, that, I guess out of all of it, I don't truly understand the um, Hoth Rebel Soldier going from a card to a box. Especially, I don't, and I don't know for sure, but if it's the same figure, I don't really understand that. I personally like the Black Series box, but my thing is, if it's the same one, um, put more of them out in the store on the card so I can get my other two that I need to do the photo I want to do. Come on. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, um, du Dooku is legit on point. That is, that is him. But that's the thing. I mean, it's like, I, that part it makes me just make it just makes me wonder why. I mean, I don't understand going from a card to the box when you can't even find any more on the card. <laughs> uh, nice, Mister Imagination. Nice. Um. The probe droid looks really cool. There's still four at my target, the same four. And they're not flying off the shelves at 30 bucks. I did hear about Michael Keaton. That's exciting. I, I haven't really fully read anything yet. I've just heard little tidbits. But him coming back to play Batman, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm curious to see how they're going to spin it. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think those probe droids are going to, like, fly off. You're right, Chris. I'm with you on that. Now, here's the thing. I, it's not that I don't think it's worth 30 bucks. I mean, it's big. It's, I mean, it's, it's a nice piece. But, I mean, it's just a probe droid. Right? That's all it is. Just a probe droid. <laughs> so I'm curious to see. Um, I'm just I'm just curious to see how it goes with them. But again, they've still got the same. Now take that back. Originally, I think there was five. And and for the last couple of weeks, it's been four. So um, I would definitely pick it up. I mean, if they knocked five bucks off of it, I'd pick it up. Maybe. I don't know. Hook a brother up with a probe. You ain't got probe droids up in Knox, Vegas? Shadow Trooper. Yep, uh, I've got those. I've got those. I'm going to do a... Uh, I think I'm going to do a review. I haven't done an action figure review in a while. And there's a couple of them I'd like to do one on. I might do a twofer two figures two just say it what's up Anne Marie um I do know this I don't know mine came in from the pre-order so if you didn't pre-order I don't know I mean you might look up and GameStop's got some extras but you know how it goes with, with pre-orders you know yeah I was stoked when I saw that and it was funny is when I was at Target to pick up uh, the the black light pops with the animals. <laughs> uh, there was a guy. He's he's a Hot Wheels guy. He doesn't collect Legends, Black. So he's just Hot Wheels. And he was he watches my videos and he was like, Hey, I saw one of Mark D Ts at Walmart. And I was like, What? He said, Yeah, it's on the peg. So that was right before they put out the the new Funko Pops. So it was probably close to an hour. You know, before I went to that Walmart, and there it was. I'm like, yeah. Uh, no, I have not pre-ordered the Spider-Man wave. Nope. It looked good, Harold. Yeah, it looked good. It looked good. Yeah, Anthony, man. I, I was watching that on the news this morning. That, 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 that fire, man, that is... Wildfires are, are no no bueno. They're not cool. Um, Toy Biz Lord of the Rings? In case you're wondering, I got my laptop here instead of here tonight. Because I do have I do have some stuff I'm gonna open up tonight, so Yeah, I saw Jeff, I saw that as well. I was looking on Hasbro Pulse and they had it there, and I think it's like 49 bucks. And there's a real big part of me really wants that. Even though I don't have a lot of three and three quarter, it just looks cool. But I don't know. But it's a good price. I mean, it's a good price. $49.99, I think. Um, it could, you know, and that's the thing, though. When you think about, let's, let's think about this. So Java's... Java's Palace, that's the one that's at Walmart. I think it's 39 bucks. And it's just the hut, you know. Um, for 51, what? Man, go over to Pass Road Pulse and just pre-order from there. It's 49.99. Of course, I mean, you don't talk with like buck two bucks. I mean. Uh I have not watched Bert. No. Six inch. That's what I'm talking about. We need more six inch stuff. I think we got enough three and three quarter. I will say this. I am on the hunt. I am on the hunt for a Rancor. A Rancor. I am on the I'm on the lookout for one. Um, it's the Target exclusive one, I think. I just missed one on Macari. I don't know how close I missed it, but it was like 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, but I really want to use it in some photo ideas that I got. So 
I'm on the lookout. But they made a couple of different versions, but the one that I like was the Java one. And I think it was a Target exclusive. The coloring on it looks really good. And it's got like the uh, shackles on the arms right here. So, yeah. Rocco, what's up? We was talking about your live stream a while ago. You doing that uh, about the new figures. Which, uh, yeah. I almost stuck that on the wrong, the wrong piece. I legitimately almost did that. That would have been terrible. Like, legit terrible. Like, oh my lord, what did I just do? Terrible. Okay. And of course, sticking 45 degrees cuts are my, they're my kryptonite. They really are. Da, 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 da. That's right, smash that like button. Like me. <laughs> oh my God, me and my big old hands. Sometimes they don't cooperate the way I want them to cooperate. And, you, and you, when you're doing stuff like this, you sort of got to stick your tongue out a little bit, you know, to the side. That, that, that way everybody knows you're really concentrating when you stick your tongue out. At least that's my excuse. All right. So I needed to put on this under, this under chin piece. Yeah, there we go. Boom. In case you haven't wondered, I'm making, I posted on Instagram, I'm making another one. Making another one. But I've learned some stuff from this one that I made. I got some good advice from the old interwebs and comments, and I'm gonna trim these areas down a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, I take people's advice. If you give me good advice, I take it. But this is sort of a variant of Scorpion. So, got a little, oh man, it's crazy white. I got a little detail I gotta cut in there. There's gonna be no vents in this one. Yeah, they're stupid high on Amazon. They're stupid high, period. So, uh, yeah, I got that glued. I'm happy now. Boom. Got it, got it done. See, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna bore y'all with uh, me cutting foam. But I am gonna make a lot of noise sealing my glue can back up. Force to Unleash, I saw, I saw that one. Like I said, I'm really partial towards that one so far. And honestly, it's because of the paint. It's, it's more of a darker looking one. Um, but I think it was, I think it was Target, Target exclusive, Jabba something, Rancor thing, so. Uh, this is gonna be Scorpion. This is gonna be Scorpion. I've already got the front details burnt in right here. I got a side detail I gotta burn in over here. And uh, I gotta put the two back pieces on it for the straps. Get her plasti dipped and then painted yellow. Uh, but yeah, like I said in several other live streams and videos, check out Much Props on YouTube. Dude is a master when it comes to this. Also, uh, Stormtrooper templates, uh, R31, some really good one. A decent price for me if I could get it for like 40 bucks. But I've seen them on eBay like in the triple digits, like 100 bucks, 130 bucks, 140 bucks. I'm like, what? And it's hard for me to pull the trigger on that just for a prop for a photo that I'm wanting to do. Uh, 
Yeah, there's a there were a couple Ren, I think I think there were a couple of Target exclusives. Um I'll I'll DM you Ren and show you the picture of what I'm talking about. Uh, I could be wrong, it could be the same thing, but it seems like I saw two different ones. One of them's more of a brown color and one of them's more of a greenish brown color. But the one that I want, it has the two shackles, the gray shackles on the main arms. Um, and it, it's, it's more of a brown color and it's really detailed. looks really good. Really good. And I can have a lot of fun with that thing just for anything. Yeah, the Mr. T, I saw it, but I, I passed on it. I mean, it's, you know, I pitied the fool. I mean, it's, it's Mr. T. Um, and it's, it's, it look, it looks cool though. It looks very cool. How do you get bigger on YouTube? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. I haven't answered. I haven't found the answer to that yet. Um, truth. Here's the, here's the straight up truth. My, my thoughts, because I, I mean, to me, I mean, I'm not big. I'm not a big YouTube channel by no means. Um, but for me, I mean, I've been doing YouTube, I think for about three years now ish. Um, and I have been trying my best to do a video every day, five days a week, two live streams a week. Um, for me to do that is a love for it. Uh, and that's just straight up truth. Um, I don't do it for the money because there is none. <laughs> uh, I mean, truth be known, I mean, and, and you guys know me, I'm, I'm transparent. You know, I mean, I might average like a hundred bucks a month from YouTube, maybe. They pay out when you hit a hundred. <laughs> so, but I don't, I, I don't do it for that. I mean, that money goes right back into the channel. It goes right back into everything. Um, and it's just be yourself. Um, I saw a comment, tons of content and drama. I mean, I'm not a drama guy. I don't like it. There's too much drama in the real world. Um, it, it truthfully bothers me. Drama truthfully bothers me. It bothers me with content creators when it happens, especially content creators that I enjoy. It, it, it does. It bothers me because I don't get it. I don't understand it. Um, and maybe it's the fact of my age. Maybe it's the fact that what I've seen throughout the world from when I was in the service. Um, but I just don't, I don't like it because I don't, I don't get it. Uh, we have it really, really made uh, in, in, in our country, you know, and it's just, it's just, come on. I mean, it's just, it's just a toy. Come on, it's just a toy. Uh, but my advice star, here's the way I look at it. You know, number one, you got to do this because you truly love doing it. You know, you got to enjoy making videos. You know, I, I never, here's the thing, here's a true story. Uh, Marine Corps. Um, I've never gotten mad or upset or anything toy related. I don't get frustrated with my videos. I don't try to be like other people, you know? No, I don't mind. Plug away. I, man, you're a mod. Put a link there. I don't care. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, after this stream, head over there and watch that one. Um, life's too short for this, this silly stuff. It's just too short. You're only on this planet for a small amount of time. Make the best of it. I think my only regret, if I had one, 
is I wish I started a lot of the stuff that I've started because of you guys and YouTube and this channel, like doing this stuff. I wish I'd have started this like years ago. I really truly do because I'm really understanding how much fun I've missed out on. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you, I, t I will tell anybody, if you decide to go into YouTube to make money and be rich, you ain't going to do it. <laughs> What's up, Click? Doing fine. It ain't happening. Get a job. Work your 50, 60 a week. Do this on the side. Have fun. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, good example. Like I told you guys, I get up at 3. I went on an after work hunt today. That video is tomorrow. And that's you, 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 I just, I needed to unwind. So I went on after work hunt. Uh, I went on to read this. Hope, hey, Charlie, when I, when I pulled these out of that slime, this is the first thing I thought of. And I've kept them here because I'm thinking about using these with my Mandalorian as the alien child. I got three of them. I got twins. Actually, they're not twins. They're actually, this one's got Spock ears, and these two don't have Spock ears. But the back of their heads look like hearts, and they glow in the dark. You, like, you won't be able to, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you see it? Oh, wait a minute. I know there's too much light. They sort of glow. <laughs> so this might, this might be my child. Um. I want to see that, though. I want to see that child. Uh, da, 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 da. Just kept them up. Fraternal twins. Yes. That's true. Infuse it. And I do. Um, I just brought this home from work today. This has been on my desk for the last couple of days. Uh, yes, I do. I'm actually going to go pick me one up. I had a black light flashlight, but I don't know what I did with it because I've been moving stuff. Yeah, Chris, when I went to, when I went to, uh, pick this up at Dollar General store, there was like a little alien beside it. It wasn't actually in it, but I mean, for a buck, these little barrels, they got the ridges on them, paint these things up. I mean, they're still a little small for six inch, but I mean, it's not a 55 gallon, but what I'm thinking I might be able to do is cut these and then put them back together and make them a little taller to where it is appropriate size. Anthony, I've only found these at $1 general store and it's the one that's one mile down the road from my house. No other Dollar General store have I found these. Yeah, the box is. All right, so I wanted to share this with you guys. This is, this is something that is um, new to, I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna take to get into it. I may get into it, but I wanted research. Yeah, they're they're a dollar. They're legit. These are a dollar a piece. A buck. And that's literally, think about it. I don't even know how many ounces it is. Hang on. Where is it at? Are you kidding me right now? Serving size, one can. Duh. Oh, there it is. 16 ounces. You can't even buy a regular Coke, I don't think, for a dollar. <laughs> um, but I, I'm a firm believer in doing research, you know. And I bought a book, and this book has been highly recommended by a lot of makers. Um, so first things first, you buy a book and you start reading the book and you figure out whether or not you can do it or not. But right here, Prop Builders Molding and Casting Handbook. 
Um, my lone wolf helmet is molded and cast. I'm, but I'm wanting to try on a smaller level some some pieces. I've never did it. I've, I've been watching some videos on how to do it. But I just figured, you know what? Um, you got to start somewhere. So uh, I've got how many? Let me look here. If we don't count the appendix, I have 221 pages of reading material. So I'm excited. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted a couple of the Dark Beasts because the hammer. And that's one of the things I want to try to cast. I want to see if I can, I'm starting small. I'm not going to get crazy big with it. But it just looks fascinating. It looks fun. I'm not going to try to do a Mandalorian helmet because that would be totally like, no. Uh, but I've been looking at like epoxies and, and resins and I just think it'd be, I think it'd be fun to try to do, uh, I think it would work great for diorama pieces. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I may have, I know I'm going to fail at, you know, <laughs> yeah, I did see the 10 inches on sale, 15 bucks a piece. I almost, I almost picked up a cap and crunch, but I was like, no, okay, man, what's up? But I think it's really fun to branch out and try things good example like like this right here yeah it's only a buck so it's no big deal but how cool would it be if you could if if i could resin cast props you know now from a cost perspective you're not going to get it you're going you're not going to make it cheaper than a dollar but it'd still be nice to understand how the process works and I watched the guy, and this is sort of what got it started. I watched the guy, he uh, he made, I think it was, um, I can't remember the board game, but he was making uh, tile plates for uh, one of these board games. And the plates were just amazing looking, the detail, the, the texture. And he started out, he made a silicone, he made a, a casting, then he made a silicone mold. Then he poured it with resin. And I'm just like, this is cool. I mean, because think about it. If you're into toy photography, you know, and if you're into building dioramas, then to me, this is the next level uh, to try. Now, I've also looked at 3D printers, but I just... I don't have an itch for a 3D printer yet. Um, and I know if you got a 3D printer, I'm not, I'm not, please don't take this wrong. But to me, a 3D printer, you just push a button and come back in like 40 hours and it's done. You know, the most work you do is when you sand it down. I mean, but speaking of 3D prints, if I take this, which if you notice, I still haven't finished painting it yet. And, and this is what happens a lot of times. They'll take a piece, 3D print it, then they'll make a mold out of this. And then they cast it. So let's say I wanted to make some of these Western 35s. Well, I could 3D print it. But if I could cast it, now I've got weight to it, which makes it more realistic, more, more, you know what I'm saying? This thing's light. This thing don't even weigh like, this, this, this half a can weighs more than this does. So that's sort of what I'm thinking about. And I've also thought about how cool it would be to cast a Funko Pop. Don't ask me why I'd want to do it. I just think it'd be cool to do it. I mean, people are hydro dipping them now, so why not cast one? 
Uh, Christina, what's up? Sorry, I missed you earlier if you was in there. Sorry, because I, I got my laptop right here and I'm looking right here. Yes, there you go, Anthony. Eight o'clock. Uh, cast it in EVA foam. That, I... All right, so EVA foam, you got stuff like this. This is FOMO. And... As far as casting and foam, well, but you can mold in foam. I can, that just popped right off. So, so this is actually moldable EVA foam. Uh, it's really good stuff to uh, make little things out of. I don't use this a lot, just for the simple fact this is it's it's not cheap. So, like I said, I'm just wanting to try some new stuff, but first things first, read a book, try to learn something. Um, ooh, nice, Chris. Thanks, one man. Yeah, this is just something that I've started to, like I said, I've been cleaning out my room upstairs, trying to rearrange things and I just figure sometimes it's nice just to have a backdrop up to hide all the crap that's behind it. <laughs> hide all the crap that's behind it. So what have you guys been up to today? Let's chat a minute. Groot's sitting here hanging out with me. You know, Groot's my little mascot. He stays right here on the table with me. This is his new home. He just chills over here. Thanks, Christina. I know, man. Daughter just called me. <laughs> Sorry about that interruption. <laughs> I don't know if it kept filming or not, but I just popped up. I was like, decline. She just left the house. I don't know why, because Kim's upstairs. I don't know why she's calling me. Um, favorite Marvel legend? Um, Honestly, right now, it's probably my Stan Lee one. Um, just because it's Stan Lee, you know? Green screen. I actually have a green screen upstairs. I have a, I want to say it's like a 30 foot wide by 40 foot long. It's room size. What's the best Chewbacca figure? I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing on what's the best Chewbacca figure. I only own one, I think, and it's the one with the goggles. That's a good that one. That's a good question. That's a real good question. I do have a box over there from, from Charlie. He sent me a box. It's right there. Yes, you do, Charlie. You need to get Stan. It's, it's a cool figure. I need, I need to do a review on that one. But I'm sort of hesitant to open him. Because I sort of like him the way he is. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, you did. I think you did. Hang on. Let me look here. Yeah, you did. Right there. Right there. That box right there. Yeah, you did. That's your name right there. Right there. Now my daughter's texting me. <laughs> uh, that is true, Charlie. It's up to you, man. I'll open it now if you want me to. <laughs> I know. I'm just messing with you, Charlie. I got to meet Charlie one day. I got to meet a lot of people one day. There's so many cool people. 
I just, I, it's like a bucket list right now. Meet all you, all you cool people. It's just crazy. The only thing that sucks is we're all across the planet. The planet. This is where it'd be nice to, um, and I've actually considered this. Uh, I've actually considered doing like, I actually have someone and I do apologize. I completely forgot his name because it took me by surprise. A dude called me last night and took me completely by surprise and was just telling me how much, you know, he just, he loved my channel and this and that. And I was just like, and that was legitimately my first phone call that I'd got from anybody. And uh, I get instant messages all the time. And I actually had him on speakerphone so Kim could hear it. But it was really, it was cool. Took me by surprise, though. I know. I was thinking about trying to do a big Zoom call. But the free version of Zoom, I think you can, I can't remember how many you can do on the free one. We've been using Zoom a lot at work. And it's really easy to use. You just got to have a, you can use your phone, but... I just thought that'd be really cool. Not a live stream or nothing, just a big, just a big call. And just have everybody introduce each other and just have fun. So I don't know, I've been thinking about that. And basically what I do is I just like post it like on Instagram or something and just like, hey, join the call, something. But uh, I don't know, I just think it'd be neat. Oh, that's right, Jeff. I got a box over here from you too. Right there. Right there. I got I got a couple of boxes. I think it'd be cool. Actually, <laughs> good. All right, so I do know what Jeff sent me, so we're going to open that one up. Jeff, I hope you don't mind, but we're going to open it up live. Charlie's I'm still considering because, I, like I said, I know part of it, but the box is too big. So we're going to open up Jeff's. All right. Hey, we got we got letterage. We got letterage. We got to do, we got to do the letterage, and I do enjoy opening stuff on live streams too. Oh, look at there, letterage. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, dear Greg, your search is over. Thanks once again for being one of the good guys in the hobby. Sincerely, Jeff. Look at that. That's awesome, Jeff. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, Bruce, thank you so much. What's up, Kent Pool? Well, we've we've talked about a book I ordered. We glued we glued another piece on this. And now I just opened up a box from uh Jeff Simpson. Oh, <laughs> This is good. This is good. Jeff, dude, thank you. R2D2. Yes. Now, if you watch my hunt video, you know I've already found one of these because we talked about it. But this is cool because I wanted one that I could unbox. And I'm going to unbox the one that I actually uh, picked up. But I also wanted another one because this is really so cool looking after I, you know, when I saw it in the packaging, I just love this. And this one is, is awesome. It will stay in the collection. It'll go into the special category of awesomeness from you guys. But yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is awesome. That is awesome. Appreciate that. See, that's what I love. I'm telling you, this community, I know you guys might get tired of hearing me say it, but come on. 
we got a we got a great bunch of people you know i mean that's why i was saying that that's why the drama and stuff just man it just i don't get it i just don't get it you know um uh, eating barbecue uh, where's mine can't pull uh dry ice mail barbecue I mean, if they can send a deep dish pizza from Chicago, you could send me some barbecue. Just say it. Or at least have a bite in honor of me. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, like I said, it's, um, this is the one thing, and, and it goes back to, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna revisit Sunday with uh these black light pops and i'm telling you <laughs> and i actually had somebody tell me that i should have videoed it and you know i do respect people's privacy i do but it's one of those things where it's like when 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 i see this herd and i'm not exaggerating herd of people because number one here's 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 a true test of a target Funko Pop collector you don't go to the Funko aisle on release day at Target you go to electronics or at least in my area that's where you go 20 people were hovering around the Funko aisle. I saw people going in and out of the toy aisles. They were following each other and they were skipping over aisles and this and that. And when I saw the person that works there, the associate who used to work at GameStop, and I just went up to him and said, hey man, how you doing? He said, I'm doing great. He said, and what happened was they actually didn't let the Target employees in they let them in about the same time they let people in. So the target employees, the time they got punched in and got assigned their areas, they were already a few minutes late getting back. And I just politely, you know, I just politely asked him, I said, hey, did you get any of the new uh, Funko Pops in? He said, yeah, they're in the back. I'm going to bring them out. And I said, well, I said, are you going to do the normal and bring them here to electronics? Or are you going to put them out at the Funko Pop section? He said, I'm going to do it the normal way, bring electronics. I said, well, I'm just telling you, there's 20 minimum of people at the Funkos hovering, baskets, buggies, hovering. He said, all right, I appreciate the heads up. So, uh, yeah, it's for the black light stuff. I'll show, I'll show you some of them here in a minute. And when he came out, it's probably about two or three minutes later, he came out and he's coming in front of the TVs and he, he yells down, hey, if you want any of these new Funko Pops they are up at electronics, holy butt crackers, heard full blown sprints, men, women, they was two kids. Everybody else was an adult, full blown arm swinging run. <laughs> Dude, this is a, this is the funny part. I'm sitting there at electronics. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I actually took a pic. I took a, like a little selfie, and it was like half. I couldn't get the other half to my left, but. I'm just standing there and I got my basket up on top of the counter and I'm just standing there, you know, man, full grown man, probably in his, if I had to guess late thirties comes up to me and goes, Hey, I come into the store before you did. I was like, Hey, I know where they put the pops at. I don't know what you want me to say to you right now. Sorry. <laughs> but he legitimately was upset, not angry, but upset because he physically came in the store first before me 
And that he felt that entitled him to be in front of me at the electronics counter where I had been standing for like 10 minutes, patiently just waiting. <laughs> Benny Hill, yes, that would be perfect. And the crazy part is, so I had the two kids was to my left and one of them was a teenager, was two brothers. And uh, one of them was probably, I don't know, 15, something like that. One of them was, his brother was probably eight, nine. And they were standing here beside me. And I had another person to my right and people were behind me. Dude comes out, the associate comes out, and he's cutting open the boxes. He takes out one, like, one case thing at a time. Now, granted, my target Got 12 of each, except for the T-shirts, the Spider-Man one. So there's 12, right? So 24 Iron Man, 24 Captain Americas, no, excuse me, 12 of Cap, 12 of Thor, 12 of Doctor Strange. And there's 20 people. What's up, Doc? And so somebody's going to lose out. There's 20 plus, and there's only 12 of each. That's eight short, sorry. When he started unboxing, so what he was doing, he'd cut the box open very carefully because this guy knows how the deal works, right? Because he used to work at GameStop. He knows not to dig in with a box cutter. He legitimately, on his box cutter, maybe that much was sticking out, just enough to cut the tape. So I'm standing right here. He takes the box, like he's right here in front of me. He takes the box, opens it, folds it, turns it up, and plops it down, lifts the box right in front of me. All right, cool. Six pops, boom, bam, in my butt, in my basket. Kids, boom, 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 they got theirs. Arms, I mean, literally, I thought I was in a mosh pit. I mean, I think I was violated at some point. They was hands, they was touching going on. They, it was deep, it was some elbows. And, and it got to the point where I even had a dude try to take them out of my basket. And I'm like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> That's claimed property, that's my basket. <laughs> hands off. <laughs> So eventually it got to the point where the adults was just frustrating me so bad that I just started giving the, I just started pushing the pops over to the kids. <laughs> so as soon as he opened it up, I'd grab mine and go whoop and just push them to my lap so the kids could get theirs. Now, that legitimately ticked some people off, legitimately ticked them off. I mean, but I don't care. The kids, you know, got to take care of the kids. But at one point when I knew the kids had what they wanted, I was taking pops and I was just doing this behind me. I would grab a pop. I'd get mine, then I'd grab a pop. I'd do like that. And I mean, I don't know who was getting it. I don't care at that point. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's on. But I kid you not, I could have picked up any one of those pops and done a Joe Montana and slung it down the aisle. And I'd bet you a dollar to donut, there'd been at least four of them take off down the aisle and do a baseball slide trying to grab that pop as it bounced off the ground. That's how crazy it was. So when I make the comment animals, that's legit. Adult animals. <laughs> And, but it tickled me to the point to where I'm like, because I told them when I got there, because my target where I went, one of two things happens on a release day. They either come out when they first open or they come out at noon. It depends on how much of the truck got unloaded. And I was telling people, I said, look, there's a good chance we're not going to get these till after 12. You know, because we didn't see no associates. But I don't know. I'm just saying, I mean, some great pops. 
They look great. I'm going to show them to you. Um, these, I mean, I mean, I mean, there's Iron Man right there. The boxes look really good. The colors on them, they look really great. Uh, there's Cap right there. We got Thor right there. Doctor Strange. And we got Spidey right there. I guess I guess what I'm where I'm coming from with this, if I'd have walked in there. And let's say, for instance, I walked in and I didn't get one. All right. It would have not have ruined my day. You know? And I mean, they're cool, but are they cool enough for you to act like a blooming idiot? That's all I'm getting at. Now, there was no foul language or no nothing like that, but people legitimately were getting upset. And I really wish, I really wish I could understand why. Now, this is just my theory. And trust me, it's only my theory. And feel free to chime in and, and let me know if, if I'm wrong with my theory. Because what I did when I went back out to the car, I immediately went to eBay. Every one of those pops was on eBay for 35 to 50 bucks a piece. Within 10 minutes of me getting mine and leaving the store by 8.30, let's put it to you that way. From 8 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard, to 8.30 Eastern Standard, they were already up on eBay, 35 to 50 bucks a piece. Now, here's my theory. And again, it's free country. You can speak whatever you want to speak on my channel. I ain't going to judge you or nothing like that. And let me know if I'm right or wrong, my theory. For you to get upset as an adult because you didn't get one of those pops or any of those pops, is it truly because, oh my God, I'm a collector? Or is it because you're not going to be able to jack up the price and put some change in your pocket? Thoughts? I'm not saying all people are scalpers, but that's the only thing that makes sense to me. If I was wanting to sell these and make money, legitimately, those pops, that set, I saw a set of them on there, and it was almost 200 bucks. The t-shirt was the most expensive. The rest of them were 10 bucks a piece. So I could have threw that whole set up and probably sold them for 200 bucks. Probably could have. But that's the only thing to me that makes sense as to why you would get upset. Now, the two kids, if they got upset, I think it's because they really wanted them. You know? I don't know. That's the only thing I can that's the only thing that's the only thing I can make sense of it. <laughs> that's true, <laughs> Kimple, you're probably right. Um, I bet if any of y'all, matter of fact, hang on a minute. I've got, I got the old interwebs up right here. Just out of curiosity, let's go to eBay and let's look here. Uh, Black Lot Funko. Boom, right there. Black Lot Funko. Let's see here. Close these, close that. Okay, right here, set of four, first one, $109, free shipping for the set of four. Captain America, 29 to 37, Thor, 20, 27 to 35, 27 to 35, 114 for the four, 25 for Thor, 
34. Oh, that's a different one. 34 for Iron Man. Oh, here's the deal. 85 of them. $85 for the set of four plus $10 shipping. $29 for Iron Man. $144 for a set of four. $55 for the Spider-Man t-shirt. $69 for the t-shirt and pop. $40 for Doctor Strange. The backpack, $48. One of the backpacks. So the average cost looks like it's about $30. Bucks. $53 for the Spider-Man pop, no t-shirt. $53. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense. Just the box? You know what? That might be an experiment because I'll probably open that. I might just try to sell the box, the empty box. I'm gonna, You know what? I think I'm going to do it. I'll let you guys know when I do it. I'll put the empty box up and I'll put, um, what, what do you think we need to ask for it? <laughs> for the empty, for the empty Spider-Man box right here. Just the box, no pop, no t-shirt. What do you think we need to ask for it? <laughs> I mean, I might even buy some cellophane and reseal it. And just say, sealed empty box. <laughs> 35, 20, 20. All right, hey. Because I'm telling you right now, if I ain't paying for no daggum empty box. I'm just saying. Now, I will say this. The box does look cool. It's a cool looking box. I'm not a big fan of the shirt. And I said it in the video with this logo right here. They should have done this on the front and just do, do, do away with that. But, I mean, it's just, I don't know. Uh, I understand FOMO, but I don't think this is FOMO. I, I don't think it's FOMO. I think when, when people... Um, when people exude that much on it, I just think it's something else. I truly do. I think it's something that has to do with monetary gain. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, if I was into this game to be a reseller, I'd probably do the same thing. If, that, if that's what I wanted to be. If I wanted to be a reseller. Because we will pay for it. I like that, Doc. $1, $30 shipping. <laughs> What's up, Keith? Uh, oh, I did see that. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Popsicle sticks painted black. They are a lot of empty boxes. I will tell you this, Hot Toys, um, those boxes, the brown shipper boxes, these people sell those on eBay. So, so to Ren for $8,000. All right, Ren, I'm getting in the car right now. I'm heading your way. Have my 80,000 small bills only. Nothing more, no higher than a 20. Ones, fives, tens, twenties. I will take a small amount of change, but it has to be quarters only. No nickels, no dimes, no pennies. Sell the pops and get a hot toy. Can't pull, you know, this is a funny thing. Today I was actually thinking about and wondering if somebody would trade a hot toy for those for those pops, for those five pops in that t-shirt. <laughs> Charlie, I'm telling you, the shipper box, it's like gold. When you buy a hot toy, do not throw that brown shipper box away. Do not throw that thing away. I almost did my first one. My very first hot toy, I almost threw that box away. And I think I saw, I can't remember whose video. It might have been Cincy Nerd. I can't remember who it was at that time. We talked about keeping the shipper boxes. Monthly pops. What's up? 
Does that name monthly pops mean you only buy pops once a month? And we got 80 people in here and only 39 of these. What's up with that? Uh, oh, hey, Mandy, I'll tell you this, like the three and three quarter um, Mando, I never saw it. Never saw it in my area. Hey, I know you did, Mr. Matt. I know you dove in. It's, it's the fact that it's part of it. With, with Hot Toys figures, you got the figure, you got the clamshell, the box, the art, the shipper. It's, it's like all of this, all of this is part of the package. Hey, Marie, you better keep it. You, hey, if you don't want to keep it, sell it. <laughs> oh, it's a cup. Oh, okay. Well, hey. I was about to say, if you only did pops once a month, what's the secret? Hey, I'm just saying, if you don't want to keep the shipper box, sell it. Put it on eBay. Somebody will buy it. <laughs> married. <laughs> that married, that's good. One a month, ain't nothing wrong with that. He does keep his shipper boxes. Any... Just about every hot toy collector keeps their shipper boxes. Because see, like what I do with mine, when I take mine out, I'll take the actual box the figure came in, put everything in it, and then put it back in the shipper. And that's how I store it. Ship the shipper to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool, Anthony. Well, then that name fits. I like that. You know, the crazy thing about it is I don't even think it cares that it's got a ding or din in it because it's got that MMS number on it. It's all part of it. Nice. Well, you, yeah, you did go deep. <laughs> you did go. But that's okay, though. Uh, excuse me for your monthly pops. That's a great name. You're right. That That makes so much sense. That's a great name. That's right, road to 11K. 11K. <laughs> I would have, going back to that earlier question about how you get big as you do, I will tell you this. The first 500 subscribers comes like slow. Then the next 100 comes slower. It's a slow process. Uh, my first, my first hot toy, my first hot toy was a shore trooper. Hang on a minute. I always get this confused. It was either the shore trooper or the Deadpool. That was my first two. And sometimes I get them flip-flopped. That was my first two. And all my other ones are troopers, Star Wars troopers. I got one Captain America. I got a Mythos, Obi-Wan, everything else. I do have a Darth Ma a Malgus, but everything else has got helmets. Stuff like that. Except for Groot. This is the one I recommend for the first hot toy. If you're ever undecided about a hot toy, then I recommend Baby Groot. He is he's so much fun. As you can see, you can put clothes on him, got some kicks. I mean, he's just a, he's a fun one to have. And he always sits right here and watches over me when I'm doing my foam and stuff. And uh he always puts a smile on my face. I didn't see that in our little chat there, Kent. I missed it. <laughs> uh, no, I am not getting the 18-inch group. I do not own any 18-inch pops. Um, but I just, no. I mean, that's, that's 100 bucks. And... I, I just look at what bang for my buck that, and for people that know me knows that the things I buy are the things that I can photograph or, or have fun with, with my camera. I, I just, I just can't do the 18 inch. Now we actually, me and Ryan and Kent was talking earlier. Like if they did an 18 inch Darth Vader, I'd be all over it. What do you think twice about it? If they did an 18 inch uh, trooper, I'd be all over it. Charlie wants me to open his box. But the uh, the group, no. 
It looks good though. It looks good. But 18 inch pops, boy, they, they take up real estate. The 10 inch pops take up real estate. I like this, fragile, handle with care. I'm doing it, I'm handling it with care. Okay, so this is from Charlie. Charlie Huff. I do, like I said, I, I, we know what's, we know what some of it is, but he said there's something I don't know. Wow. This is an awesome plastic bag that I legitimately will use. Oh, there's a hole in it. I can't use it. I, I was actually being serious. That was actually, I'd hang it right there. All right, what do we got in here? What is it? What is this? Hang on. I'm just double checking. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yes. Yes. God, I love this Hot Wheel. This is the best one out of the series. Right here. This is it. Godly bum, this thing looks awesome. It looks so flipping cool. I love this Hot Wheel. What? No, you did not. Oh, dude, I've not even seen this one. Oh, dude, this is dope. Oh, my. Boom. Right there. I know it's got too much white. Range Trooper. Right there. Look at that. That is sick looking. Oh my goodness, dude, thank you so much, Charlie. Oh, the detail on this thing, the paint. Oh, dude. That's, Charlie, man, you knocked it out of the park, my friend. That is so flipping cool. I'm telling you, I have not even, I don't even think I've seen this one on an actual card of any of the ones that I've been picking up. But yeah, the, oh, that's just, that's just, I mean, we gotta look at that again. I mean, that is, I mean, look at the paint on this thing. I mean, that's just dope. And see, this is the thing I love about, about toys in general is how, especially with these Star Wars cars, I've really noticed, um, is how you can take the, the essence of the character, right? The essence of the character. I mean, if you did not see any of this, you would immediately recognize that as a range trooper from Solo. Same way with this one. If you didn't... I mean, that's heavy Mandalorian. I mean, there's no, there's no denying it. And man, these two have weight to them. These have some crazy weight to them. Dude, thank you. Oh, man, see, this makes my, this makes my day. It's like Christmas. I'm trying to take this little, I want to see what's behind this one here. I want to see if it's one, because there's actually a Chewbacca one right there. I haven't seen that one either. And the BB-9E looks really cool. I've not seen the Hulk. I didn't know there was a Hulkbuster Hot Wheel car. What'd you miss, Charlie? Oh, did you miss? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to because I want to. I've been wanting to photograph. I've been wanting to photograph this bad boy. 
And now, see, this is, this is, I don't care about the stickers. I, I don't care is that because it don't matter to me because this, this means stuff like this means so much to me. You guys, I mean, my wife, she hears about all this stuff because whenever I get like packages and things like that, uh, she sort of gets excited too, you know, but I always let her read the letters and I, sh I, I immediately show her what people sent me and, and she gets a big kick out of it too because it just goes to prove that there's so much kindness out there in the world, you know? Um, yeah, Alex, I've actually posted some on my Instagram. I took some of the Mandalorian car. Uh, I've actually got some. I don't think I've posted them yet. Let me look here. Of uh, this Chewbacca right here. I've got this car. Um and I actually took some photos of that. Matter of fact, I don't think I posted it because I took some pictures of my Zori Bliss Funko Pop with my TIE Fighter, and I've not posted those uh, lately. Um, so I need to get those up. But, yeah, and what I've been doing is I've actually been taking these and putting them uh, like the Mandalorian car I put out at my diorama with a TIE Fighter. Um, that's that's what I do with them. But, yeah, you can, you can definitely take photos of them. But, dude, Charlie, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, I mean, it's just hard for me to, you know, describe how much Jeff, you know, thank you for the uh, for the R2. Like I said, it's uh, means the world to me. Means the world to me. I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could explain it better, but I, I you know, sometimes I'm I get tongue tied so. Um, <laughs> so to buy some of yours to uh, buy another hot toy. <laughs> the Vader one, uh, is there's a there's one Vader, this one right here. The lightsaber actually flips out because, like, with Chewie, his blaster flips up. Um, but yeah, these Star Wars cars look they just look good. I love these things. Uh, do you have the 2011 re-release Boba Fett? No. No, I don't. I'll do it. You know, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll open it right now. Right there. I'm opening it. It's done. Uh, favorite Black Series that I've gotten recently? Ooh, the, the Shadow Trooper's really cool. The one before that's really cool. I completely forgot his name. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Ooh, look at this out of box. Look at that. Look at that detail on this flipping thing. Oh, my God. That is so cool. All right. Range Trooper, we're opening it up. I will photograph these this week. See, Jeanette, thanks for stopping by. Check the, oh man, it's gonna be too white. The light I got underneath it, I don't think it's gonna, oh, there we go. Look at this thing. That is so wicked cool. Even the detail on the wheels. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait now. So I have to, what I think I might do with this one, I'll do a single of this one, then I'll put my Mando car with it. I think it'd be really cool. Yeah, <laughs> cover the snow. I might, I might break out the old wall back here. Uh, that's the only problem with like snow troopers and things like that. Um, but it might give me, this might give me a good excuse to actually make a snow background. I've yet to do that yet. I actually have some fake snow. I've yet to do that. So this might give me a good excuse to try that. I've never tried it before. Oh man, it's so cool. See, going back to what we was talking about earlier, it's a toy. It makes you smile. It makes you have fun. It makes you enjoy life. Saying, I'll probably take this. I'll probably take this to work with me tomorrow. 
<laughs> um, what? Monthly pops. Number one, uh, you don't have to, but wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Mind blown. <laughs> Um, all right, Manny. But yeah, so, uh, this is great. This is awesome. This made my day. Got, we got a lot of comments tonight. We talked about people being animals. We got another piece glued. We got to, uh, review my 200 pages of new reading material. And to cap it all off, we got some awesome Hot Wheels. And beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, R2-D2 right there. Bam. Dropping it. This is awesome. I'm, yeah, like I said, I, how many times can I say this is awesome? At least 20 more times. But, that, but I mean it. That's the thing. I mean, stuff like this just blows my mind. It truly does. It means the world to me. It truly does. And now that I see this thing out of package, I am so not disappointed. <laughs> Question though, for the folks out there that know Star Wars Hot Wheels, did they do a Death Trooper specialist? I'm curious. They did Stormtroopers. I got a Sith Trooper. Did they do a Death Trooper? I've not looked that up yet. It just popped in my head, so. <laughs> Charlie. Thanks, Christina. Uh, no, I'm I'm not a boss fan, and I hope that does not affect the way you feel about me. I'm actually a Florida Gators fan. <laughs> so did they make one, Lewis? Did I mean, I, I haven't looked it up yet because uh, I was planning on doing it after I got done, but I forgot to ask. Okay, because I think that'd be a cool one too. I mean, it'd be all black, but I think it'd be cool. Hot Wheels fandom. Oh, Anne-Marie, look at there. Boom. Ohio State, go Buckeyes. Nothing wrong with the Buckeyes. If I'm not mistaken, Urban Meyer was, uh, I don't know if he still is, but was the coach Ohio State, who was the Florida Gators head coach, who is awesome. Just saying. I got fan, I got some fans that are big Ohio State fans, so here's the thing. <laughs> I've said it before, but I only watch one football game a year. I don't watch any professional sports. I watch one college football game a year, that is Florida, Tennessee. And as long as Florida beats Tennessee, that's my national championship game. That's all I care about. Because I have a lot of really good friends of mine that are Vols fans. And they sort of, not all, but this particular group, they sort of act like those 20 people that was running for those Funko Pops. If Tennessee loses, they lose their crap. And they go crazy. I actually saw one guy. It's probably, I don't know when it was. It's back when uh, uh, Danny Werfel was Florida's quarterback back then. And uh, Steve Spurrier back in the heyday. <laughs> and, and Florida beat him really, really bad, like 42 to 7. It was crazy. Stupid score. And dude went in there, took every single thing he had, had Tennessee balls on it, took it outside, and burned it. It was hilarious. It was hilarious because he invited me over and there was like 50 people at his house and I was the only Gators fan. And so he thought, huh, Greg, you're going to be, you know, feeling bad, blah, blah, blah. But no, I didn't because the Gators won. But he legitimately went in and burnt his jerseys, shirts, hats, socks. He was so mad that they lost again. And again, running for Funko Pops. The human condition is hilarious. 
It's hilarious. Uh, uh oh, wait a minute now. Monthly pops. If you start, wait a minute. If Kent Pool still in here, I can't remember Kent Pool. Is it Michigan or Michigan State? Because monthly pops, you might, you might, ooh, you might start something here. You might start something with Kent Pool. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, Mandalorian Death Watch, right? I'm just saying. But that is a good game, though. Michigan for Kent. Okay, okay. Mary, I knew it was one of the two. So, monthly pops. You know, Kent pull. Uh, yeah. There might be there might be a little rivalry going on. Just saying. <laughs> oh, We've won the last what twelve? <laughs> hey, Ohio! Here's the thing. That's what I love about college football. College football is is it's pure. It's it's as pure as you can get it. I mean, I mean, compared to pro, it's uh, fans. I love the fans. I love the atmosphere. People are very passionate about their college teams. Here's the only thing I tell people. Because, and this is where I get a lot of grief, is we've all heard the term, my team. Right? My team. Now, this is just my thoughts. Recovery toy, what's up? These are my thoughts. My thoughts only. Not passing judgment. None at all. But the term, my team, like I am a Florida Gator fan. It's not my team because I'm not an alumni of the University of Florida. I'm a fan of the Florida Gators. So when people say, oh man, did you see my team? My team did this. My, the first question I always ask is, did you go to that school? No, no, no. I'm like, so you're a fan. That's my team. Nay, nay. Unless you're an alumni or you're presently enrolled, I will always say, eh, you're a fan. It's not your team. <laughs> so that's one of the little things I like to do to have fun with, uh, with folks when it comes to college football and stuff like that or sports in general. Just, you find ways to um, poke a little bit, but without being mean, you know. Captain Pops, what's up? We opened up some Hot Wheels, man. Boom, we opened up some Hot Wheels. And we're, and we're learning how to mold and cast. And we, we glued another piece on my mask. And we've been talking about animals. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that, Charlie, that is good. But now the next time, if you want to have some fun, if we ever do have a college football season again, if you ever want to have some fun with people and you hear somebody say, my team, hey, did you see my team over the weekend? If you want to have some fun, go, hey, did you go to that school? No. You're just a fan. That's not your team. Don't be disrespectful to people that went to the school or are currently enrolled in that school. <laughs> Have some fun. Go Browns. Yeah, stay under all the Browns. I would, like I said, you know, I don't care who you root for, what you do, as long as it gives you some fun and put some enjoyment in you, you know. That's all that matters. Just find something that brings some joy to your life. Right? Go Steelers. But see, the only reason I don't watch Pro Ball anymore is because I grew up watching Pro Ball in the 70s. Steelers. Oakland or the Raiders. Back when the teams, I mean, these people come off the field, they were beat up. Beat up. <laughs> Uh, so, 
to me, it's to me, pro, pro pro sports nowadays has almost become more of a multimedia event, um, you know. So, but hey, whoever you root for, you root for them and you have fun with them. But again, if you are a college thing, try that with somebody. But anyway, guys, we're going to call it an end to the stream. I just got the notification. Beard of Pop has actually just went live. Uh, head on over and check him out. Show some love and support to people. Appreciate all you guys hanging out with me, you know, tonight. This has been great. Uh, I love it. Yeah, one year. So, I hope you all have a great rest of the week. There's a good chance I will not be live on Saturday morning. I may have to work. If that's the case, I may go live on Friday evening. Or it might be Saturday night. I don't know yet, but I may have to work Saturday. So there's a possibility the therapy table may not happen Saturday morning. But everybody, y'all have a great rest of the night. Charlie, Jeff, man, everybody, thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. Appreciate all of y'all. Hope y'all have a great rest of the evening. Hope you have a great rest of the week. And always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.